everyone, Bernard here with another citizen vlog. It's a citizen past and it's a regular look and a new edition of Not Got, Now Got, The Found World of Manchester City, of course, inspired by my sister blogs as well. I'm inspired by this wonderful book by uh, Derek Cameron and Gary Silky, Got Not Got. I think it inspires me to go out and I, I buy memorabilia anyway, city stuff, uh, programmes and postcards and stickers and various things anyway I'd sort of top up things that I, that, I, that I like I don't buy stuff just for the sake of it I'm not into these tops things and all that sort of thing but uh, I might buy one or two if there's anything that sort of in, inspires me so obviously this is uh, a little look back at some of the things I've bought and I've not opened yet so I'm going to open them with you some some memorabilia It'd be mainly programs but uh, my little odd things as well in there and I do forget what I've uh, Auction, you know, uh, bid for on auctions, etc. etc. So, uh, it's interesting for me as well because I, I do forget what bid I don't always win the bids. Obviously, I, I only limit myself to a certain amount of money. I don't I don't bid willy nilly. Obviously, uh, I don't tend to spend more than one pound fifty. Being, being very, I mean, it's not just Yorkshire people, you know, it's those Lancashire people as well. You know, watch the pennies and. Uh, you know, obviously, if there's something I really want, I will pay a little bit more, but uh, there you go. Yeah, please, if you like this and if you're new to the channel, please push that uh, all subscribe button. Push the bell notification so you know when these little vlogs are coming out, these uh, citizen vlogs, past and present, of course. Right, well, I've got my pair of scissors, I've got a pair of scissors, I've got my packages, so some packages all about the same size. So I say, that's why they look more like programmes today, rather than, you know, magazines and pictures and stuff like that. So let's start this one, let's start this one. There's two of two on this one, so I must have ordered a couple of things off this guy. What I'll do, obviously, some of these, if it's a programme, which this one is, a couple of programmes, I'll I'll put on the screen what the score was of the game as well, and who scored any goals that City scored, if we did score any goals. And there's a couple of programmes in here, so we're going back to... Uh, the 14th of April, 19, it's only one programme, it's because it's got all these Football League reviews inside, which you, which you used to always get with some. And obviously you didn't get them with City ones, even though this put, this is put into a City one, but it was obviously you didn't get them, well, you didn't get them with City ones. Uh, this is Manchester City Football Club against Sheffield United, Saturday the 14th of April, 1973. Yeah, so that's when I would have been regularly going to, to Main Road. I, I'd grown up and I was in the Kipax by then, 1973. I was one of the boys in the Kipax, so uh, it's a great kit. But they're, uh, that's it's either the red and blue diagonal or red and black diagonal. It's hard to tell, isn't it, on a black and white photograph. But yes, yeah, they've stuck that in there. But I don't that wouldn't have been in because I don't think City ever gave these away, as far as I know. Portsmouth in the middle there, and obviously that was uh, Stoke winning the League Cup, wasn't it? So was that was that 70? Uh, wasn't the same year, was it 72, 73? It could have been, it could have been 1973, couldn't it? They won the League Cup. Yeah, so they are. We want you, Man City. I always like that picture, that girl. Always looks very, this is 1970, she always looks very 60 ish to me. In the 60s, sort of 60s get up, I mean, I'm probably miles wrong. Um, what was the team that day? Let's see, let's see how we're doing in the league. Any league tables? The team, you've got. Choice here in the program: Healy, Book, Donaghy, Doyle, Booth, Oaks, Summerby, Belt, Lee, Jeffries, Tower. So still, still the sort of mainstay of the of the successful team, aren't they? They say we didn't really win as much as we should have done, perhaps uh, in those years in the in the early seventies. We should have should have done a lot better. I'm trying to see, if there's a league table, and this see how we're doing in the league. It usually is, but I can't spot one in this one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, not doing too well, sort of about two thirds of the way down in this table after 37 games. So it's near the end of the season. It's 14th of April 1973. So one of our, not one of our greatest seasons. That's a great image, isn't it? All the old players. Yeah, so it wasn't one of our greatest uh, seasons, unfortunately. But I will let you know how we went on in that particular game. And to the next one. Yeah, another old one. Eight, 5th of December 1970 we're going to now, so I would have been uh, 11, 11, so I think this is um, quite soon after I lost my father, this uh, end of 1970. So I'd started to go to the games and sit in the flat lane with my friends, with my mates, uh, 
in the plot lane by this time. I would have sat with me plot in the plot lane with my dad uh, up to this stage, but this is the first season I think when I, I would have sat with my mates. So that's Arsenal, 50 December, Saturday the 50 December, the half time thing on the back. Always always enjoyed that scoreboard. See if you won any prize. I never won anything. Did you win any? did you win anything? I never knew anyone who who actually won it. Uh, not doing too bad in the league that year, up in fifth place at, at Christmas time there. 70-71, so it's when we obviously lost in the Cup Winners' Cup semi-final, didn't it, to Chelsea that, that year, unfortunately. We were the Cup Winners' Cup holders, obviously, going into that season. Uh, City and Arsenal teams there. Of course, City, Corrigan Butt, Pardo, Doyle, Heslop, Oak, Sunderby, Bell, Lee, Arthur Mann and Derek Jeffries, probably the only odd, odd ones out. Arsenal, Wilson, Rice, McNabb, Kelly, McClintock, Simpson, Armstrong, Story. Radford, Kennedy and Samuels, so quite a good team for Arsenal as well. I'll let you know how we went on in that one. So they want to give it another Arsenal at the time in the 70s. We were a good team, weren't they? City were a very good team, but we just didn't do as much perhaps as we should have done. It's such a good team. For one reason or another, I don't think we were unlucky particularly, just, just one of those things. This is a well-packaged one. Ah, well, well, we're not going to program this time. This is interesting. This is the um, SO Book of Squelch, as it's called. I've covered this in the Got Not Got thing, and obviously it's, it's sort of things about players. So you've got a great image of Colin Bell there. You can see the Colin Bell. And what you do, you get him out. It's number two. It's a full set, so there's 16 star strikers there. I think I like, like Pelly there. Masses of defence. You've got Bobby Moore. So I'm not sure what year this would have been, probably 70-ish, the Book of Squelchers, and yeah, so just uh, it's the man in the middle, number two of ten, so it's not even about Colin Bell, but it's got him on the front, it's obviously about the referee, um, which gives you all, all like the referees and the various things, so... Little images, little little facts and things that SO give away. I never knew anyone with a car at that time in the late 60s, early 70s. So I sort of tended to miss out on these sort of things. So I never really got them. So you got a goalkeeping greats there. So here's a goalkeeping great. See, so let's see. Goes on to tell you things, all goalkeepers. So you got Gary Sprake, obviously a very well known goalkeeper for Leeds at the time. Rubinos making a brilliant save for Peru in the 1970 World Cup. Peter Bonetti, the cat, he died died this year, and, uh, sadly. Sepp Meyer from West Germany, I remember him. So, yeah, this actually these squelches. I mean, I must admit, I'd never I never collected these because, as I said, I didn't really know anyone with a car, and obviously it was for petrol, wasn't it? If you got your petrol, so this is a a complete one. I would have paid a little bit more than one pound fifty for this, but. Uh, Club colours and nicknames. So I'll have a good look through that and see if there's anything city city linked. As I say, the Colin Bell on the front of that appeal, appeal to me, especially in the the great red and black striped kit. League champ. So as I say, it's uh, all facts, facts and information. Even even about referees, eh? Even about referees. So that's good. That's my favourite find so far today. Squelches. Did you have? Did you have the squelches? If you had the squelches, uh, let us know. As I say, I did miss out on these. Um, promotions on petrol stations etc because I just I don't, don't think I really knew anyone with a car till I was in my late teens to be honest with you so this one some of these are very well put together by the sellers you know some don't care but some make a bit of an effort to keep them nice and tidy and it's nice when you get a little note off them as well off the seller as well there uh, Many thanks for today's eBay purchase and prompt payment. So it's nice when you get a little little note off the sellers as well. I, mean, I sell a lot as well and I try and be as polite as I can. Right, we've gone back to 1964, 31st of October 1964. So we're talking uh, second division, I think, aren't we? Um, Cardiff City at home. And I always love that. I mean, that's one of my favourite images of Main Road. It's got a little squiggle on it. But I don't worry too much about that when I get a programme. I don't, I'm not really that worried about... Uh, Things like that. So League Division 2 it wasn't our greatest season, you say, towards the bottom there, City. 64-65 uh, wasn't our greatest season at all. Obviously, we came up 65-66 the season after. 
Uh, Ogley, Bakutsi, Gomasol. We won two 0 apparently. So I'll, I'll confirm that because I've been, I've been. Um, I remember one where it said a score, and I, I actually checked it, and it wasn't that score. So I have been throwing a wobbler every now and then. Ugly Bacuzzi, Gomasol, Kennedy, Greatrix, Oaks, Wagstaff, Gray, Murray, Kevin and Young. So yeah, we won 2-0. I wonder if Kevin scored. He scores he scored quite a few goals, Kevin. Let's see what happens. If if Kevin's uh, probably miles away, he probably didn't score, but uh, there you go. And you can go by train to London for uh, as little as uh, 46 shilling, £2.12 and a half P from Manchester. Not bad, is it? Go by train. It's, uh, October 1964. Another one. Don't forget if it'll beat that squelches thing, which I'm going to have a good look at when I get a chance. Uh, we're going up to 1988, and I've, if you if you watch these vlogs regularly, it was a period when I was uh, I just shut a business and I was struggling to get to games uh, financially rather than anything else. And it it was a time I was hoping to do a magazine for City as well at the time. I was in I was in uh, sort of chatting to City at the time about it, but that's another story. I won't go into that now. But uh, yeah, so it's late '88. I was I've been doing fanzines and magazines uh, for almost ten years by that time. Um, but obviously, I, I just fancied doing one for City, and I was. Uh, I was going to do one, but obviously certain things happened. But I'll, I'll I'll come up with that story some other time. So we've got to League Division Two, Wednesday the fifth of October, nineteen eighty eight. City versus Portsmouth, seven thirty kickoffs. Remember them? Remember seven thirty kickoffs? Dibble, Seagraves, Hinchcliffe, Gale, Biggins, Redmond, White, Molden, Morley, McNabb, Paul. Like I did see a lot of games, obviously at that period, but I was struggling to get to as many as I'd like. You know, I wasn't getting to them all, unfortunately. And certainly by that time, I think. Um, I'd started work again at, uh, in August 88, I think I mentioned that, quick save, so I would have had cash to go to these games by then, I was struggling a little bit before August, before I started work again, because uh, money was tight, and with a with young family, it wasn't easy obviously, but uh, that's great, I mean I'm having to sort of collect a lot of programmes from that time, because even if I was going to the games, I was probably saving a few pennies, just, just by not buying a programme basically. This next one. Yeah, lots more programs this time. It's not always the case. Sometimes there's a lot more other things. But this is uh, April the tenth, nineteen seventy-one away program. And you get from the back there, the exam of Huddersfield Town. The old blue and white stripes. Obviously, Healy Towers, Connor Doyle, Booth, Donicky, Jeffries, Bell, Lee, Young, and Hill. And for Huddersfield Town, yeah, one name very familiar. Well, a couple of names familiar. You've got Trevor Cherry. I remember that name, and uh, Frank Worthington, if you remember Frank Worthington, if you played for Bolton and other teams as well. Absolutely fantastic, they are. they're great images, there's always good team images, if you want a good team squad picture, you always look at the away programmes, because there's always one in there. Sometimes you tend to think that you forgot to leave them out of the City Home programmes, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know how we got on with that one, April the 10th, 1971. Uh, there be any league tables in this? How are we doing on this one? Can't always spot these things straight away. Um, yeah, there we go. Leeds have a six point lead. So all leads are perhaps going to go on to win the league. There's the uh, table. City, City a bit higher up. Town struggling a bit. City up in the top, certainly well into the top half there in 19. April 71, that's probably towards the end of the season. Uh, I've, got, I've only got a couple here now, so I managed to get these both open before we finish. And that clears me, clears me up now. So, an excellent batch of uh, programmes and memorabilia comes in. Uh, package number one, this one. This is a, it's funny, we used to play teams like Leeds United in the 70s, and there used to be like police dogs doing things and bands on the pitch and stuff like that. I mean, in those days at Main Road, it's Always seen all the always the big games, you know, like Leeds was a big game in the this is first year for January nineteen seventy one, so Leeds was always a big game. So oh, that's uh, that one there. Equalizer against Blackpool at Blackpool. That's great. An uh, image of Blackpool there, fantastic with the uh, Mike Summerby scoring against Blackpool. That's fantastic. That's uh, Leeds United, Saturday the thirtieth of January seventy one. 
and a year before uh, 31st of October 1970 again similar similar sort of format similar sort of format to that one but a year before Francis Lee and the goal that earned a point against Southampton so some great and I love these old black and white photos they're absolutely fantastic that's uh, Ipswich Town, Saturday the 1st of us, 31st of October 1970. And there's some great match images as well in it. So they're good. I enjoy I like I like the old 70-71 because they say some of those images I've not seen for a long time. I would have seen them at the time, but obviously I wouldn't have seen them since then. And the last one today, the last one for me. This edition, uh, a newer one, uh, Bristol City. Yes, I've been to Bristol City a couple of times to watch City. Um, and this is um, probably, I probably do go to this one. I don't think I've got a programme though. 1979, I went in the late 70s, so I could have been at this one. So Bristol City against Manchester City, Saturday the 24th of November 1979. Yeah, so... Uh, I don't think Bristol were in the uh, the top league for that long, so it certainly could have been the one I went. To. I went to one in the late seventies. I went to one more recently, but one in the late seventies. Oh, that's great. Uh, team talk. Danger man Steve Daly. Danger man Steve Daly was he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably probably to Bristol City was a danger man. Yeah, we don't we don't know where we were in the league. Did we see any? Just always like to see if there's a league table in these things. Good picture of Joe Corrigan there. Robin's Nest. No, I don't think we're getting a league table in this one. Usually, usually on the easy to find, but some of some of them are a bit harder to find. So, anyway, that's uh, 24th of November 1979. Bristol. Have you been to Ashton Gate? Yeah, it's uh, quite a jank. I remember. I went on the I went on the coach. I know the coach's part's a hell of a long way away. Um, not, there's a little bit of trouble, I don't think there was too much, there's quite a few City fans there. You, if you usually went mob handed to them places like Bristol, you're usually okay. But um wasn't wasn't the most friendliest place, uh, but uh, so I didn't have any I didn't have any trouble at Bristol in the in the seventies, even though you know anywhere in the seventies if you were in, in the wrong place at the wrong time you could have got into a bit of trouble. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Say mainly programs today, it's apart from the my favourite, the squelches, the SO squelches, which I'm gonna have a good a good long look at. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please check my little links on there. On screen. If you're into movies and TV dramas, please, I do little blogs on that as well. Please check the playlists and please check out my day job, my little website. Uh, as you say, I used to have a video shop back in the nine in the nineties and and two thousands. So I've still got to do old and rare DVDs, movie post, movie posters, and board games uh, on my little uh, movie game nostalgia.com. So if you can look on there, absolutely fantastic. Until we meet again on another citizen past or present, please look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your family. More importantly, let's all look after each other. And uh, please, until then, please stay safe. Please, it's Bird is saying goodbye for now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.